I will put my freaking money where my mouth is because if all four wheels turn, this truck will literally fall off the jack stands. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got another beautiful day out here in beautiful British Columbia. Me and the old lady, we just went out to grab some coffee and uh, we'll be heading back to the house real shortly to show you guys a pretty special channel update and uh, some stuff that's gonna bring some pretty cool towing content to the channel. All right guys, we are back home um, and I am standing behind a nice big trailer and you're probably wondering what this thing is doing here. Well, we are finally gonna bring some real towing content to this trailer and we're gonna put that Ram 1500 to the test in a little bit here in a couple weeks. Um, so, big update. We, well, me and my girlfriend are gonna be moving back to Ontario. Um, obviously we love it here in BC and it's unfortunate we have to leave, but life happens and you just gotta roll with the punches. So, we're gonna make the best of it and I think we're gonna have some really cool towing content for you guys. Um, so, this thing is a 14 by seven double axle trailer. Um, well, it's a heavy duty trailer as they call it. GVW is over 7,000 pounds, but you can put a total of just over 5,000 pounds of stuff in here. And I think we're gonna be pretty damn close to that GVW because obviously we got all our stuff, all our furniture, and then we got my tools and toolbox, which probably weighs close to 1,000 pounds on its own. And we're gonna be freaking hauling this heavy ass trailer all the way across the country over the rocky mountains which you know in and itself is an adventure uh, i think the, the biggest pass i think i looked up was it's called rogers pass just outside of golden bc and it's literally like just under 5,000 feet of elevation so we're gonna be putting that thing to a freaking test and i am excited obviously the mountains are going to be quite the adventure but even just towing you know through the prairies on flat ground for hours on end is going to really give us um, some you know real world fuel economy numbers some real world just towing experience with this truck and i'm excited to bring you guys along for the ride i think we might do just a little mini series and then you know highlight some cool towing events um, along the way i'm going to do my best to uh, really you know be super cinematic i know i'm not the most cinematic uh, guy on YouTube, but I'm gonna try my best and uh, really give you guys some cool content Especially when it comes to towing stuff. So that's the update for today hope you guys are excited for that because I am pumped and I Just can't I'm just there's just gonna be such good content and such good views And I want to share as much of that as I can with you guys now for the second part of this video um I am going to be making some more content on this Ram four-wheel drive system, the ESC system. I know I've just beaten to death this topic, but I still get people writing comments saying that in four-wheel drive lock with the ESC system, all four wheels turn for them and they don't understand how I'm such a stupid driver or how I'm just such a terrible driver and don't know this. So I am going to make a absolute concrete test to show you guys that indeed with two open differentials that only two wheels will spin one on each one on each axle now i'm not trying to beat up on dodge if this was a ford a chevy a freaking toyota and it had two open differentials and a locking transfer case which they all do the same result would occur it's not a ram thing it's just more of a four-wheel drive system thing so i do love my truck i'm not trying to beat up on it but i just <laughs> i just really want to make a clear picture for you guys now if you guys are tired of me talking about the four-wheel drive system it's all good don't have to watch it but for you guys that are interested i will uh leave that footage here for you guys right now well like i just said this is gonna be my final video touching on this Ram's four-wheel drive system. I've talked about it way too much, but this will hopefully just concrete everything for you guys if you are still wondering about the four-wheel drive lock and the ESC system and which wheels actually spin. Because I'm getting pretty freaking tired of... <laughs> Jeez. Just kidding. Um, no, I just want to make sure that everyone understands how this four-wheel drive system works. So, <clears throat> 
what we are going to do is we're going to jack up two wheels one on the front and one on the rear and i'm going to put this thing in four wheel drive lock turn the esc system off as well as the traction control and for anyone that's uh, not aware the esc system just stands for electronic stability control and it can negatively impact your four wheel drive performance basically in some situations it'll hinder or cut power to your front drive shaft i made a video which i will drop down in the description um, basically just talking about how to fully turn off the esc system and um, going over a little bit more details involving the whole system in general um, if you guys want to check that out i will put my freaking money where my mouth is because if all four wheels turn this truck will literally fall off the jack stands if only two wheels spin this thing will stay perfectly jacked up and there'll be no issues so that's what we're going to be doing we'll see maybe i'll uh, break my truck maybe maybe i'm still right that's what we're here to find out All right guys, one wheel on each axle is jacked up. Now that I'm actually here, ready to put this thing in drive, I'm a little bit more nervous than what I was when I was thinking about this. <laughs> so, I mean, hopefully everything goes like I said it would. I think it will. So yeah, that wheel's in the air. And then yeah, this driver's side wheel's in the air as well. So ideally, those two wheels will just spin in four wheel drive locked with the ESC system off. If I am indeed wrong, this truck's gonna come off the jacks. Hopefully not hurt anything too bad, but uh, like I said, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and really try to show you guys um, that this is a concrete fact. All right, this was a little try run just for my own confidence. Uh, only in two wheel drive. I just wanted to see if the truck would, would move at all. All right, so we are basically pointing right into the sun. Um, great uh, filming skills on my part, but hopefully you guys could see that was just two wheel drive. Um, that wheel just spun. <laughs> I was a little nervous if the truck was just gonna budge forward a little bit and come off the jacks, but yeah. So that's just an open differential 101. So now we are gonna put the truck in four wheel drive, lock ESC system off, and we will see if this truck stays up on the jack stands. I hope it does. I really think it will. But uh, like I said, this is a real world test, so <laughs> I'm a little nervous and uh, we'll see what happens. So let's do that next. Okay guys, truck's running right now. Just so I'm not lying. So we will put this thing in four wheel drive lock. Okay, like I said, I'm a little goddamn nervous. A little more nervous than I thought it'd be. ESC system, we will turn off. Bang, that's off. Okay, so. Not lying to you guys, whatever happens, happens. So let's do this. As you can hopefully see, this wheel is just free speed. Jesus Murphy, Alex. <laughs> All right, <laughs> cut. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, uh mm, serious mm. so as you can see the front wheel here is just freewheeling and then if my beautiful girlfriend will move the camera to the back right you'll see that wheel is also freewheeling um, and as i showed you guys i am totally in four wheel drive lock esc system off and only two wheels are actually spinning so i know i've probably beat this topic um, to absolute death, but I just get a lot of comments saying that I'm not doing it right. I don't know how to drive. So I just want to put that to bed. I promise this will be the last thing I ever talk about with the ESC system on this truck. But this is the most concrete explanation I can give to you guys that indeed only two wheels will actually spin if you have two open differentials. So it did turn out that I was indeed correct. I was like 95% sure when I thought of doing this. And then when I actually got under the truck and jacked it up, I was more like, 75 percent sure you know i wasn't sure if when i just put it in drive it just was going to jerk all the wheels all of a sudden and then push the thing forward but looks like i'm correct once again <laughs> this could have been a ford a chevy if you have two open differentials um, with a 4x4 system the exact same thing would happen with 
any truck really, any vehicle really. Um, so it's not that I'm trying to hate on Dodge, it's just the truck I own. So it's the truck I can explain to you guys what happens with two open differentials. So as always, I'm looking forward to your comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I think this is the probably the most concrete test I've ever done. Uh, it doesn't get much more simplified than this and uh, hope you guys liked it. So I hope that clip helped anyone who was still kind of confused that all four wheels didn't spin um, with this Ram 1500 setup. It's not to say that the ESC system when you're stuck doesn't do anything. I've already made a couple videos on that. It does indeed help. It helps to truly lock up that transfer case and send full power to your front drive shaft. But once the power arrives to your differentials, there is nothing electronical that can improve open differentials. Go under your trucks if you don't believe me. Look at your front and rear diff. There are no wires going to them. It is purely just your drive shaft coming in and the power being split between two axles. And in that differential, there is only mechanical action. And with an open differential, you know what you're gonna get. One wheel is gonna get more power than the other in most situations. If you guys did like the video, make sure to leave me a like or a thumbs up. Um, and if you like content like this, and if you're excited for some cross country towing over the mountains, through the prairies, into Northern Ontario, maybe think about subscribing because it is gonna be quite the adventure. And just before I let you guys go, I do wanna to touch on um, you know, our drive to the Arctic Ocean. Unfortunately, it just isn't gonna to come to fruition. Um, you know, with me being back in Ontario, it just doesn't make sense driving all that way. And especially because the Yukon border right now, um, they are very finicky with COVID. You have to do a full two week quarantine, even if you're coming from Canada, but if you come from a different province, you have to do a full two week quarantine. And I just don't see that exactly lifting uh, by next winter. Um, so unfortunately we aren't gonna be able to drive to the, to the Arctic Ocean. I was really hoping to take you guys along for that adventure, but um, it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. So, unfortunately, no Arctic Ocean, but I hope you guys are excited for a cross Canada towing adventure. Um, and with that, I will see you guys on the next freaking video.